Project 9. How to give an intramuscular injection. Medication is injected well into the muscle layer below the various layers of skin. You will need a clean work surface cover, an alcohol wipe, a pair of clean gloves, a vial of medication, a 5cc syringe, two 18 to 20 gauge needles, one should be a safety needle, cotton wool or gauze, an adhesive bandage strip. Follow these steps. Greet and positively check the patient's identity. Check the following on the medication ampule or vial before proceeding. The correct name, volume, and concentration of the medication. The expiration date. Abnormalities regarding consistency and color of the medication in the vial. Draw up the medication for intramuscular injection as described in Project 6A. Prepare your hands hygienically and don clean gloves. Choose the injection site for the dose and expose the area. There are several areas of the body suitable for giving intramuscular injections. Deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis muscle, ventral gluteus muscle, dorsal gluteus muscle. Wipe the injection site with an alcohol pad for 30 seconds in an outward circular motion up to 5 centimeters around. Allow the site to air dry for 30 seconds. Open the index finger and thumb of the non-dominant hand about 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Place them on either side of the planned injection spot and then gently spread finger and thumb to tense the tissue. Ask the patient to relax and take a deep breath. As he or she inhales, insert the needle at a 90 degree angle in a quick dart-like motion to an appropriate depth and ensure that the needle tip enters the muscle properly. It is essential to aspirate before depositing the medication into the muscle. To do this, gently withdraw the plunger before the injection in order to avoid an inadvertent intravascular injection and thus a possible medical emergency. If you aspirate blood, withdraw the needle and prepare a new syringe. If no blood is aspirated, you can inject the medicine as follows. Continue to hold the skin and push the syringe plunger while slowly counting from 1 to 10 for every millimeter being injected. When all of the medication has been injected, promptly withdraw the needle and apply pressure to the injection site using a gauze square to prevent bruising or the formation of a hematoma. This will also minimize medication seeping into the subcutaneous space. Certain medications may require massaging of the injection area for a minute or two, but for others, this may be contraindicated. Apply an adhesive bandage strip if necessary. Discard the used syringe and needle in a designated Sharps waste receiver. Do not recap or remove the needle. Remove gloves and discard in a suitable medical waste bin.